Palo Alto police are sending a message to RV campers before taking real action. RVs stretching the 72-hour parking limit could be towed if they don't move soon. KPI X 5s Wilson Walker with the warning from police. Looking a little bleak for me if this continues on with like people saying you can't park here anymore because of what my trailer looks like to them. It's a discussion that picked up speed as the number of cars and campers grew. Yeah, I remember when there was maybe five cars here, five or six people parked up there. Well, now the writing is on the windshield. So maybe they think they have to make, go through the motions to please some of the people around the town who are complaining. And the flyers issued by Palo Alto police do reference increased complaints from neighbors, reminding owners that they have to move their vehicles every 72 hours. Oh, they have been kind of lenient for a long time, and I think they're cracking down because there's more and more people out here. Now, the city says it is trying to strike a balance between sympathy and respect for city law. Oh, yeah, or probably they're just trying to get people to get more of the idea move it, don't just keep leaving it in the same spot forever and ever and ever, you know. I walked kind of door to door. I get the feeling a lot of these people in these campers do work. Oh, I think most of them do. Yes, I do. I work 30 hours a week. So the men and women living along El Camino Real have gotten the message. Now they'll just have to wait and see what enforcement really looks like. They probably would give you a warning first, I would imagine. I suppose you'll have to move. What's your plan? Um, they say half a mile, so I suppose I'm going to be rotating about a mile or so wherever I can find a park right now. In Palo Alto, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.